Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, big uh, blue square ABCD that consists of uh, three parts. Part one is our uh, this green shaded uh, rectangle. Part two is our uh, orange shaded uh, rectangle as well. And finally, our part uh, three is uh, the pink uh, shaded uh, square. As you can see in this given diagram, such that the area of this uh, green shaded rectangle has been given to us as 7 cm square and the area of this uh, orange shaded rectangle is uh, 13 cm square and now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, pink shaded square and once again please bear in mind that this uh, big uh, square ABCD is uh, indeed a square Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, big blue square ABCD. I'm going to label its uh, side uh, AB as uh, X and since all the sides are congruent in a square so therefore uh, this side length is going to be X. Uh, x and x across the board and now we are going to focus on this pink shaded square and since all its side lengths are equal in length if this side i'm going to label them as equal sides and i'm going to label this side length of this pink square as y then this side length is going to be y y and y across the board and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, whole uh, side uh, is uh, x and this segment uh, is uh, y so therefore uh, this segment uh, a p length is going to be x uh, minus uh, y and likewise uh, this segment uh, f c is going to be x uh, minus y as well so i can write uh, x minus y and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, ap side length uh, is uh, x minus y and likewise this uh, fc length is uh, x minus y as well so therefore we could see that these uh, two sides uh, are congruent and since uh, this side of this rectangle and this side of this uh, orange rectangle are congruent so therefore uh, there has got to be a relationship between this side uh, and this uh, side of rectangles as well and since the area of this uh, green shaded rectangle is 7 so therefore uh, this uh, side length uh, is going to be 7 times some constant uh, k and likewise for this uh, orange shaded uh, rectangle the area is 13 so therefore this side length uh, is going to be 13 some constant uh, k and now our task is to find the value of this constant uh, k and now let's make an observation we can see that the side length uh, of this uh, bl big blue square is uh, 13 times k so therefore uh, this side uh, ad length is going to be 13 times uh, k as well so therefore we conclude that this uh, side uh, ed length is going to be 13 k minus 7 k is going to give us uh, 6 times uh, k so therefore uh, the side lengths uh, of this uh, orange shaded rectangle turns out to be 6 k and 13 k and now we are going to focus on this uh, orange shaded uh, rectangle and its area has been given to us as 13 centimeter square and now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula area is always equal to length uh, times the width of the rectangle and in our case our dimensions are 13 k and 6 k so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so area we know of this uh, orange shaded rectangle is uh, 13 is going to be equal to our length uh, is uh, 13 times k and our width uh, is uh, 
6 uh, times k and now I'm going to divide both sides uh, by 13 over here and here we can see this 13 and 13 is gone so therefore we got 6 times uh, k square is going to be equal to 13 divided by 13 reduces to simply 1 and now we are going to divide both sides by 6 to isolate k square so therefore we could see that our k square value simply turns out to be 1 divided by 6 so thus our k square value turns out to be 1 divided by 6 and now we are going to focus on this uh, pink uh, shaded uh, square we can see that this uh, side length uh, is uh, 7 times k then uh, this uh, side length is going to be 7 times k as well and since we are dealing with this uh, pink square so all these side lengths are going to be 7k across the board so therefore this is going to be 7k 7k and likewise 7k as well and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, pink shaded square and now let's recall the area of a square formula area is always equal to s square where s represents the side length of the square so thus the pink uh, shaded square area is going to be equal to our side length is 7 times k so this is going to become 7 k whole square let's simplify that is going to give us uh, 49 times uh, k square and now we know our k square value is 1 divided by 6 so i'm going to substitute this k square value 1 divided by 6 uh, over here so therefore we could write uh, 49 times uh, 1 divided by 6 and that is going to be equal to 49 divided by 6 uh, centimeter square the area of this pink shaded square and that's going to be approximately equal to 8.1 uh, centimeter square as well so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, pink shaded square turns out to be 49 divided by 6 uh, centimeter square and that area is going to be approximately equal to 8.1 one seven centimeter square as well so therefore uh, the area of this uh, pink shaded square is going to be equal to 49 divided by 6 uh, centimeter square and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye